Hey, 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 what's up, champions? Gedebina's here. Hope you guys are doing fantastically well. Welcome to Financial Freedom TV. And today I wanted to talk about marketing and why you should market what it does, not what it is. So if you're watching a replay of this video, please do me a massive favor and stick hashtag replay into the comments. If you're brand new, do let me know in the comments as well. Would love to say hi to you. And if you get value from this video, feel free to share it. Maybe somebody else will find it useful as well. So, uh, I learned this from my mentor, Ray Higdon, and he always talks about marketing what your product does instead of marketing what it is. Now, there's many reasons why you should do that. Um, one being that your potential customers are a lot more interested in what it does than what it is, right? Like nobody buys a drill because they want a drill. People buy a drill because they want a hole in the wall, right? So you should always be talking about the hole in the wall and not about the drill, right? Your product is the drill, but what they want to achieve is the hole in the wall, right? So, so that's, anyway, it's a given that it's more uh, effective. But also is to reduce your competition. What do I mean by that? Um, whenever uh, some uh, product becomes popular, right? Whether that's CBD, whether that's ketones, whether that's essential oils, whether that's a, a, a acai berry, whether that's whatever, right? Whatever new ingredient, collagen and uh, things like that, right? Uh, whenever there's a, there's a trend that a particular ingredient or a particular type of product um, is going to be popular, guess what happens? The big businesses, the big supermarkets jump on it as well. So you might have a particular food supplement with a particular ingredient or a particular shampoo with a particular ingredient or a particular whatever with a certain ingredient. And if you start marketing what it is, hey, I have a shampoo with this thing in it. Uh, I have a, a food supplement with this thing in it. Then when the big supermarkets catches on that, oh, the, 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 the yellow berry is now the, the thing of the popular things, right? What they will do? You may sell a, a really good food supplement with a yellow berry that costs, you know, 50 pounds. And it might be totally good value for money because it's incredible. It has a lot of concentration of that ingredient. It does incredible job. It, it gives a great effect, etc. But as soon as the big supermarkets hear that, oh, the yellow berry is very popular now, guess what they're going to do? They're going to do five kilos of yellow berry for three pounds, right? Now, it might not even be yellow berry there. It might be sawdust in there. It may be recycled plastic bottles in there with a drop of yellow berry, but they will put that name on the, on the packaging anyway. And now, if you just marketing on your social media, yellow berry, yellow berry, they'll say, oh, she sells yellow berry. Oh, yeah, but I saw this big supermarket do yellow berry. Doesn't matter that your product is a thousand times better quality. It's a thousand times uh, more effective than what the big supermarkets will sell. But they'll say, oh, why should I buy yellow berry from you for 50 pounds if it sells for three pounds for a five liter, you know, jug in, in the big supermarket, right? And you will not be able to explain it. Hey, look, my one is better and that one is not so good. You're losing the battle. But you're losing the battle because you're marketing what it is. But you see, if you market what it does, then people will have to come to you, right? So if instead of saying, hey, I have a yellow berry, who wants to buy more yellow berry? <coughs> Pardon me. If you market, you know, how to sleep better, how to reduce back pain, how to feel more energetic, how to um, feel calmer, uh, how to um, feel more excited, how to, uh, you know, uh, whatever, right? Whatever it does, if you market what it does, the effects of it, now they're not going to go, oh, I'm going to go and buy in Tesco's, the, the, the more sleep thing. No, they have to find out from you what what is it what what you know what's the product that helps to do this thing right? So this way you it reduces your competition when you're marketing what it does instead of marketing what it is right? Because if you just keep saying the ingredient in your product, then they'll find that ingredient on Amazon, on eBay, in a big supermarket, etc. But if you're marketing how to sleep better, they don't know what helps that. They don't know what, what your product does, what ingredients. They have to reach out to you, not the Google, not the Amazon, not the eBay, not the big supermarkets. And that's when you win. You understand what I'm saying? Hope you got value from this video. If you did, feel free to share it. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you at the top. Bye for now.